Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the summarize function and what are the uses of the summarize function which is in Power BI. So let me show you the data that I have over here. So if I go to my orders table, I have let's say um, country, I have city, I have state, I have category, subcategory and then I have my sales amount which is over here okay so for this tutorial let us work only with three columns which is category subcategory and sales amount right so i want to create a new table which holds only the uh, let's say furniture as a category and get the total or summarized value of uh, furniture category and all the subcategories under furniture and bring us the sales amount. So let us learn how to do this. So I'm going to go here under the modeling tab. I'm going to click on new table. Let's give a name to this table. I'm going to call this as furniture. Furniture summary okay, is equals to furniture underscore summary is equals to. I'm going to use the summarize DAX over here. So when I open the bracket here, it's asking me to enter the table name. So that is going to be my orders table, which we have over here, comma. And then it's asking me to enter the group by column name one. So this is going to be, let's say we group by category first, comma. And then it's asking me to enter the second column name, which is going to be my subcategory. Okay. And then it's asking me to enter the third column name, which is now going to be sales. So, okay. So let us close the bracket here and confirm and see what happens when a new table is created. So furniture summary table has been created and you will see that we've created a table. However, it is not filtered for furniture only and it is also giving us the entire row level details for the sales amount. It is not summarizing the amount for us. So let us now work towards getting the sales amount summarized. So what I'll do here is I will remove the sales amount that we added. So let's add a new column or a custom column and I'm going to call this as sales underscore amount. Okay. And note that I have put this in double quotes comma and then it's asking me to enter the expression here. I have a measure that is created for total sales. Uh, I'm going to enter that it's called as total sales and press enter. So the moment we do that, we will see that we have now got rid of the all the row level details and now it is summarized at the category and subcategory level. So you will see office supplies paper here and you will not see office supplies and paper repeating again over here because it, the entire value has been summarized over here. Right. And uh, and now, however, it's still not giving us only the furniture category. It's giving us all these categories which are available in our data. So we need to apply a filter to this particular data set. So how do we do that? Just after the summarize, after you open the bracket over here, I'm going to add the filter option here. And then it's asking me to enter the table, which is going to be my orders table. Okay, comma and filter expression here it's going to be category category is equals to in within double quotes i'm going to enter furniture my t u r e okay then i'm going to close the bracket here close the quotes close the bracket and then followed by a comma and then i'm going to come towards the end here and press enter okay it says function summarize expects a column name as an argument number two. So we have a table name over here. We will, uh, we will get rid of that table name and press enter. And now you will see that we are only seeing the furniture as the category and we have subcategories for furniture and the respective amount, which is sum based on the category and subcategory. So this is how you can use filter within summarize function and also use the group by function to group the entire amount based on the columns that you enter in your DAX. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope this video has helped you. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.